New at 6, a new study showing Islamophobia at California public schools is on the rise. Here in the Central Valley, advocates say Muslim students are bullied, sometimes by teachers. Our Natalie Vera with more on the study and reaction from the Muslim community. The Muslim American community continues to face hate in the classroom. Those were the findings of the 2021 bullying report by the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE. Their identity is being used against them in such a way is just really, really disheartening. The study asked Muslim students about their pre-pandemic school experiences. 700 participated in the survey, including 34 from Fresno, Madera, Tulare, and Merced counties. Nearly 50% of them reported being bullied compared to 40% in 2019. More than half said they felt unsafe. There's uh, times where parents are making calls to, to their school over and over and over and they're never heard. The Islamic Cultural Center in Fresno says they've worked with Valley School Districts to address the problem, including an instance where a local school allegedly had a test with Islamophobic questions. There was a question, uh, for example, about hijab, about the covering that uh, women, Muslim women wear, um, and it had some demeaning reasons as to why a Muslim might wear it. Uh, when talking about violence committed, it used Islam as a basis. 132 similar stories were reported across the state. A 16-year-old female public student from Orange County reported that her teacher herself had attacked her in front of her class saying things like terrorists and you don't belong here. The study showed Islamophobia in the classroom decreased during the pandemic, but advocates say it may have been replaced by online bullying. When you're hiding behind a screen, it's really, really easy to attack another person online. Muslim leaders say school districts should be more proactive. And more ethnic studies, anti-Islamophobia trainings. It takes the schools inviting us in, allowing us to educate. Reporting in Fresno, Natalie Vera, KC24, Local News That Matters.